everyone. Uh, just a, a quick update. Um, I will be putting out a new build um, as I was able to fix the SKU properties um, in conjunction with uh, rotation of a UI element. So I'm going to put together just a, a, a brief overview um, of how that works and how you can use it. And, um, and I'll post not only this video, but I'll also post the, uh, the new build. Okay, so let's hop into the creator. Um, and before I show you the new properties, I did actually make a, a tweak to this theme um, that I had uh, put together in my last video. Um, just a couple of tweaks. Uh, let's see, one of the tweaks here was the text. I gave it an outline and then um, placed a shadow underneath it. And uh, I've included this uh, test theme with this uh, build of the theme creator. Uh, in addition to the neon theme as well, just so that you can see how this stuff is is put together, not just by looking at the video, but simply opening up the um, the theme itself and having a look at the settings and trying it out for yourself. Okay, so let me full screen, switch the theme to Arcade Machine. So. As with anything, when I have a interim build that uh, I want a couple of people to have a look at, test, um, obviously report any issues or try out some of these new features because they've been waiting for it. Uh, this particular build I sent to my friend Rincewind, who then in turn kind of put it through its paces and uh, you know within about 12 hours came back with this so let's go into edit mode and we have a couple of uh, UI elements here so let's click on this one this is platform clear logo and as you can see here are the uh, the new properties that I had added, the SKU, X and Y. And the last time um, uh, I was talking about the rotation, um, I said I had only placed it on the video um, as I was, I was just given a, a sneak peek. I've actually applied these three properties to pretty much everything except for the wheel and uh, search index bar so they're on everything um, along with uh, obviously along with skew x and skew y okay so same is true with the video here um, it's been skewed and you can rotate while it's been skewed I think he had it set to 358. And this is just a text field. And this UI element is the, uh, the total game count for the current platform. All right. I mean, I'm not going to go into great detail. I'm just letting you know that these um, properties are now there for all the UI elements. And uh, the vertical, let's use the assist, vertical curve right. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And let's see, I did add some icons for the effect assist menu so you can see how the shadow will be placed. I'll be working on the icons for the other assist uh, buttons. 
Um, actually, while we're here, I've changed the um, color picker, and I'll be changing this again. I just wanted to get the the the, the color um, kind of uniform with uh, how the editor is is currently looking. So um, let me just see if I can pick on. Let's just add a rectangle real quick. There. Now I pick on linear gradient. The idea being here is that because I've made this area a, a lot bigger, it should be a lot easier to now specify your points. And um, what I'm planning on doing is to allow more points to be added and removed. So if you only want two points for a gradient, that's fine. If you want three, that's fine. If you want six, that's fine. So I will be able to um, uh, allow you to add and remove points. But for a, for a gradient, you'll have a minimum of two. Okay? That's the plan. So hence, that's why I made the, um, the uh, gradient editor bigger. And um, I've got some ideas for solid as well. I mean, that's a huge pain just to select a color. But um, it's just a temporary, a temporary thing for now. Um, let's see. Let's see, was there anything else? I think that was pretty much it. Okay, so let me delete this rectangle and discard. And let's publish. Cool. All right, and I'll close the creator. Let's go into the big box. And here we are. So this was created um, rather quickly uh, by Rincewind. As soon as he uh, woke up and, and saw that I had sent him uh, this, this build. So it was really good of him to kind of put all this together. Um, I don't have all this um, this artwork for me to kind of test with, so it's it's good to see see it realized with um, actual imagery and whatnot. So yeah, it's kind of cool. So as you can see, we have uh, the platform uh, notes being scrolled horizontally, also with a rotation and skew applied. Video again, rotation and skew number of games and then the platform clear logo in the top there for you know the marquee yeah it's kind of cool so I'll be very interested to see um, what everybody else comes up with uh, now that these properties are available all right so I'm just gonna hop out of this one for a sec I'm gonna go back to um, test I guess I didn't publish. Did I publish? Let's see. I want Neo Geo because those are some of the largest titles. Um, hmm. Yeah, there you go. Let's have a look. I can't see it so well because my camera is obscuring it, but uh, yeah, there's, that's what I did with the um, game title, made it kind of a little cartoony, kind of stands out against the, uh, the red background. And again, it's actually two 
uh, text UI elements uh, over the top of each other. One has an outline around it. The one underneath casts a shadow, but they're updated simultaneously. So it looks like one uh, UI element. So I wanted to kind of uh, throw that out there because I don't want you to think that there were any kind of limitations with text. I mean, you can do some strange things when you actually combine uh, text UI elements, just like I have here. Okay, so that is, uh, that is it. So rotation and skew on the X and Y. Um, so like I said, I would be very interested to see what you guys come up with. All right, so there you go. But I told you it was gonna be a quick video. And um, the next one will be uh, regarding the animation editor. So until then, take care.